Very few of these operations have ever been carried out. The patient is receiving a new sternum. Debbie has endured years of agony. Following an infection after heart surgery, her sternum had to be removed. I met up with her a few months before the procedure. What's it like living with, literally without a sternum? You've got nothing to support your ribs. Um, so obviously they're floating about, just with a muscle over the top. I don't have a life at the minute. I don't go anywhere. I can't go anywhere because of the pain. I used to go to sleep on a night and think, I hope I don't wake up in the morning. But my husband got me through it. Horrendous, absolutely horrendous. I mean, emotionally and physically. So, yeah, yeah it's been uh, it's been difficult. It's my soulmate, so, you know, you just you want them to be better and there's nothing you can do for them. Not being able to, you know, get out and go and visit anybody or... The only person I visit is Joe. <laughs> Sad, isn't it? That's your surgeon. <laughs> Medics on Teesside contacted experts in America. Together using Debbie's scans, they've come up with a unique 3D model basically reconstruct their whole sternum uh, via titanium uh, and then they could make it as a mesh and we can fill that mesh uh, with bone marrow that will hopefully make her sternum stable and really she'll then be able to build herself her own new sternum which will grow with time. The titanium sternum costing over £18,000 is carefully unwrapped in the operating theatre. Once the procedure is completed they wait to see how Debbie is doing. The operation has gone well. She's been recovering here at James Cook University Hospital for the last week and is looking forward to going home. Feeling like a million times better. I haven't felt this good in years. And there's a slightly unusual gift from her surgeon. The uh, 3D uh, reconstruction of your chest and with a plastic reconstruction of your sternum. Debbie is now looking forward to her future. Jonathan Swingler, BBC Look North, Middlesbrough.